Today we are going to make a modern techno from the scratch. Take note that you would find often Beatport, Peak Time Top 100 list or in Spotify playlists like Techno Bunker. But before that I have a really big announcement. Finally we have our own Discord server. The server will allow members ask me questions directly but more important they will help you connect with other producers like yourself, discuss different aspects of production mixing, mastering the labels and so on. And it will also help you to ask feedback from other producers regarding on the tracks. I think this is one of the most requested feature as well and on top of that we will be making giveaways every 500 members and I will also have live streams so that you can ask me questions directly from discord and I can answer in real time and maybe show around a little bit in the Ableton make sure to check it out I will add the link in the description below and the second announcement is that I have a new percussion loops I will add them here so you can take a look I will probably use them a little bit in the video as well so you can hear a bit more and on top of that we have also released the analog wave tables as a separate product because a lot of people were asking me that they don't use serum but they would like to use the analog wave tables so we have created a separate product for that but this, that was a really long intro i want to jump into production so let's open this will be from scratch video i would like to cut some corners so we're gonna go to our neve percussion loops and i'm gonna grab a rumble if you wonder how the rumbles are made i have like two separate videos about this i will edit here what i'm going to do put a compressor and of course I change the kick. I'm gonna get peak time kicks. I'm gonna tune it up half note so that it's F sharp. Fine for me. And then we're gonna shorten up a bit. What we need to do is bring down the rumble noise a bit down. Let's see what we have here. I'm gonna put this out. This is cool. And to balance this, let's put hats loop. I'm going to go to our loops. This is cool. I'm going to just put it here for now. Cool. And then I'm going to go for a serum. So I'm thinking what we should play a little bit. This is actually kind of cool. First sound. I don't want to take the first moment. This may work as well. So when I'm trying to make kind of a groovy repeating sound, there's a way to actually cheat. If I go find some type of hi-hat samples and I can take extract the groove from them. So I'm gonna go to products, hi-hats. I want something simple. If you take this hi-hat sample and put it into the lead, I'm gonna pick the drums, it will give me this kind of cool loop. We are basically playing F with the repeating notes and then we have this nice D. If we take it from the always, from the mono, and then I'm gonna do like... Maybe we can take this off. So it gives this nice driving feel. Let's take some. Of course, there's a super lows here. I'm gonna deal with them later on. Yes. So my idea is let's try to do the drop first. Because if I make the drop, then I can build the break afterwards because break goes into drop. Now I'm thinking like I want this aggressive drop, this kind of driving sound. Maybe we can try start with overdrive. This is really cool actually. There's a cool tone to it. And with what we want to do, of course, sidechain heavily to the kick so that we can use that sound, right? Let's test them together. Actually, rather than doing this way, I'm thinking getting a channel EQ. Go back here. Better. Now I'm gonna go pro key here. I 
I need some type of effects here. I need delays and I need probably some plate reverbs and so on. What I'm going to do first start with the delay, go on to ping pong and see if we can get this sound a bit more it is. Second thing I'm gonna do is kind of get a melody that I was talking about, that paddy sound, right? I'm thinking like, what if we took this one again here and put it down and then find the preset? Maybe should we try plucky sounds? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Idea. Let's zoom it out. Put in the melodic mode. Now we need a big whole style look. Kind of a, another melody, epic ambience, like du, 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 kind of stuff, right? Just give this kind of a completeness in the track. So I'm gonna go for Serum again. I made this preset pack only for peak time tracks, so they're all of really, really good presets just fits in the genre because of that. So I'm gonna go here, go to my lead sound. Kind of this, right? What if we do this? Um, sorry, it's really, really loud. Now, this sound... I'm gonna do like this. I'm not really 100% sure about the preset. We can alter it, of course, but what about trying a bit other lead sounds that we had? I think we had horn and so on. Where were we running down? Spectra, which is not... No. Sin from hell. Okay, it's a bit too low for this one. The other thing is it doesn't have a... I don't want to drown this on the effect part. We can maybe just give it a release instead. Yeah. I just want to fix the envelopes a bit. I want it to slowly come down. The only thing that I'm having a bit problem here is that the that da -da 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 sound. I don't have the enough aggressiveness out of this, so I'm gonna go for another layer to make it a bit more complete. Let's go for a lead sound. Maybe something like this. Can we try? Put one octave down. Let's turn this off because this, not, this will not play all the time. It's just for one 16 bars or something. We'll try. Darker. Yeah. Cool. Let's use kind of something else. I'm leaning towards a bit decapitator. Let's try this. Yeah. Okay. I don't want it to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's bring an SSL channel strip and play around a bit.
Always AB. If you're enjoying the video up to now, if you feel like it's adding something to you, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It helps immensely. Other than that, go back to production now. Only problem that I have is the now the we can go in and fix kind of the envelopes here, but because putting it in distortion, it makes it more sustained. Let's try the regular glue compression here and see if that works. I'm gonna use fast release. I'm thinking to get this more pluckier effect we can actually go for like a drum rack first and then go for percussion sound, layer it and see if it gets that sound out of there. So I'm gonna go for our Mercury Tones products and then I'm gonna go for Berlin Premium samples. I'm sure we have some cool stuff there. Let's take this. I will just try. I don't know which one works fast best. You never know. This may work. This may work. Okay. And then do like this. This sounds fine. I think this will work. This guy over here. Okay, we have to do it this way, I guess. Maybe faster? Let's try. One more time. Maybe this shouldn't be this long. Here. I think we have a drop on our hands. Quite simple, but I think the idea is good enough. Uh, and it reflects quite a bit of modern techno that we have today, which is good. And brings us to now I have to think about the break. I'm leaning towards like a kind of epic but melodic break at the moment. I need to drink a bit of coffee. Mm. And then right before the, because I really like this sound that we are getting here, this one. What if we isolate this sound right here, right before the break? And then, and then, kind of. I know it's so hard, right? Explain. But my, I'm thinking like. Then, then, and we have stuff here. Then stuff here, and then... Like we hit this, single dun, and then we can take the rest here, and then that pedi sound that we had from melody here, take it off, like this, again. And then the problem here is because it's a big break between, so we should definitely do the same thing here. As you see, like while I'm creating that, even before the start of the break, I'm still already thinking about the engine, what I'm gonna do, what I want to do. Like here. And then we have some risers, maybe some other cool stuff, and then again, and then we have a big break. And then we go like two more bars, right? And then we go dun 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 dun. Maybe maybe kind of additional stuff here. 
I don't know yet. Not yet. Maybe just single one here. One more time. This will be really cool actually. The thing that I'm already feeling that's lacking is the kind of chord progression because now we are having a very monotone style, like the right same note kind of playing. Uh, that means that we need something in the background to give us progression, which means that it's the pad sound that will give us that progression. And what we're going to do here, you can see that I already have this buns. I will take from the playground. I'm gonna copy them. Yeah, that's right. We are ending the break here, right? Blah blah blah. And then, then that means that the chord progression that we were talking here can be somewhere around here. Epic chord progression. I don't know what to expect, what to do. I will just hope that some of my presets can inspire me. Analog techno, I'm thinking what should we do? Let's start with the plug sound. That is a cool. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Yeah, me. This may really work actually. Let me test it here. I think it will work. I'm thinking like quantize a bit before this it means that we may also need a longer break because it's a really long progression so we are able to progress it two times maybe it is enough everything is spontaneous at the moment so but it's, i think it's working fine and i'm thinking i'm gonna suit it up a little bit i'm gonna do it this way How can we make it more organic between these two, right? That is really the important part here. Now I get the idea because this is ending in the middle, so probably it is creating all this a bit weirdness. So yes, and then dun -dun 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 -dun. so we have to bring down the break here. This will be really cool. Okay, this is the first one. I it's not enough. I need still the pad sound. Let's turn off now. For now. Of course I'm gonna go to my preset pack. Like I said, everything's there, you know. I made this for peak time techno tracks by using the modern techno tracks. So all those sounds are inspired of that style. So it's super easy to get something that's really inspiring, right? Because of that. I don't want to use the same progression. Let's take that Valhalla Vintage Reverb. Now I'm thinking like... Da, na, na. I want something easier to hear so that I can come back and change later on. Let's bring it. Too heavy. Very cool sound, but I want something super easy to build.
this probably will work. Um, again, I'm, let's say, not 100% sure if I will build this like this, but on the other hand, it kind of feels like it's kind of a bit different and it kind of works. Then I'm thinking like, I'm gonna just bring the first narrow I found in my library. I'm just testing the idea, right? <laughs> I need a break, so I will take a pause, drink a bit of water. Remember, every time you make track, you have to give a break at least, at least every two hours or an hour is the best. <laughs> like all other producers, I was just taking a break for like five minutes. An idea popped into my mind and then I find myself just doing it without recording it. But don't worry, I will explain a little bit. I decided to simplify the worm a bit more like this. So make it really ambient, right? And an add later. This sounds really bad. I, it's just the initial <laughs> patch of the serum. I was just trying to point, pinpoint the idea. And then we have a big clap here and then comes our main lead. Like this. Right? And then we into the drop. Heads. This was the main idea. I wanted to, okay, how can I make it more crazier, more epic? I realized maybe I should use this type of sound. It's a bit maybe too long, the verb at the moment. Again, I'm just trying to put the idea in. The rest, the technical things, the mixing, mastering, doesn't really matter. We can fix it later on. That is so good. I'm 100% finishing this track and I was actually thinking for a really really long time to create another Elias, Arts Elias, to actually release peak time techno track because I have a lot of ideas, a lot of tracks, kind of 90% finished, but I never released them because it's not my genre that I release with my Elias Biscuit, but I will probably create one more Elias just to release this type of higher peak time techno track. Now we are wondering, okay, how we will finish this. The main idea here, okay, I have the break kind of, I will probably enhance this break and then I will probably make the verse with like the, without the, 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 the sound because I it will be a surprise, I want to use it here. First time, the only thing that I will probably utilize here is like uh, maybe put this other lead sound here that we made. Kind of here and probably I will use this uh, front melody. here and then the progression here will be also kind of here right because we need kind of progression here this one together with these guys over here let's copy it this will probably be my main verse and this progression is nicely adding up let's fix this part as well techno pack and find a really cool pad sound Actually, wait a second, I think I have a bass sound that can be used here. This one. And this one should be zero. If we do super fancy pads like this. Like this, right? And that means I need one more pad sound. Then we go to pads. I love this serum pack so much, everything I need is just there. Let's go a little bit more, I think it was somewhere here.
And here I'm thinking like a big clap. I'm gonna just go grab my analog clap from my... I think it should be here somewhere. Actually, it should be like my core sample pack. It's a core sound. There we go. I think that was... Yes, this one. I want it big and huge and maybe add a shimmer. No, not this one. Maybe we get a vintage instead. Maybe it's still a little shimmer. Bring it down. Maybe put like this. I have no idea if this works. Just a like this. <laughs> it's so cool. Return track. Shimmer. Again, Coyander, the only thing that I care is point idea so that I remember next time I open this file. I'm thinking like this guy. Dun, 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 dun. Definitely need to get louder and more ambient, right? To make that ambient feel a bit more. Again, quick and dirty. I don't care too much. I think the idea is coming together. Here, auto filter. Cool. Again, here. One more break, one more break. I need it again, like here. Here, I think what we need, I'm gonna go again dirty because I want to pinpoint the idea while we are following with it, right? My Kilton's products, I know, I know. Construction kit, I think this guy had the right. Yeah, let's try this. Doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to keep the idea. Let's do final start then. Again, it's not ready, obviously, but you will understand the full track in your mind. The rest is a little bit macro arrangement, a bit micro arrangement, but not that hard, really. Let's try one more time if it sounds good.
And yeah, the editing of this video will be really a lot of pain, but you worth it. And the track is worth it as well. I'm quite happy with the results. And I think I will create this new alliance just for this type of tracks. But other than that, remember that we have this new Discord channel. Go there, get help from others, give others to help, ask questions to me. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.